Hello and welcome to another episode of Making a Bubblegum Monster. Now, first of all, if you don't know what Making a Bubblegum Monster is and you've just come across this channel and this uh, video, basically what it is is every month we do a competition where you guys, the subscribers, can win your own unique bubblegum monster. So what is a unique bubblegum monster? Well, basically, a unique bubblegum monster or a bubblegum monster is a little character of your choice. It can be anything. It can be a video game character. It can be an animal. It can be an actual monster. And I will then create that on the computer into what looks like a bubblegum version of it. So it will be all dripping and kind of look like it's made of bubblegum. And that will then go onto our banner on our YouTube channel and will be up as the main bubblegum monster in the top right for a month before then uh, another winner will um, have that place but your bubblegum monster will then permanently be on the banner around the wording of bubblegum monsters so that being said uh, this month's uh, this month's winner was team d team t team tdm nat tdm i think that's right I want to know what the TDM is, so if anyone knows or if Team TDM can tell us, that would be great. Um, so anyway, this video is all about the process of making their unique bubblegum monster, and they wanted a red panda. Now, I didn't actually know what a red panda was, which just shows you how ignorant I am to nature and the world around us. Um, but it's actually a really cute animal. I'm assuming it is a panda, but it's um, it looks kind of like, yeah, it looks like a little cuddly bear. It's uh, really sweet. So I based it on that. Um, so let's have a look how I made it. Okay so the usual thing starting with a sphere and then sort of pulling out the head and body. Now I want just to talk a little bit more about um, the software because we get a lot of questions about the software that I use and this software is called ZBrush or ZBrush if you're American so really it's called ZBrush because I think it's an American company um, and it's a really good way of sort of sculpting on, on the computer. There's a lot of there's a lot of packages out there look mainly they do um, sort of hard surface modeling, so things they're like good for things like creating uh, machines and houses and things like that. Um, and a lot of packages do everything, so you, you can do animation, uh, create particles and light things, whereas ZBrush is really just dedicated to modeling and also sculpting. Um, so it's really good at doing animals and organic things. Um, but so a lot of people have been asking, you know, can they can they buy this software? Which you can, but it's quite expensive. I think it's about five hundred dollars or six hundred dollars. And so um, there is actually a free um, version, uh, which is very similar to ZBrush. And it's sold by the same company, and it's called Sculptris, I think it is. So you're probably better off getting that if you want to try it out and see if it's something you like doing. And that's um, that's by the company called it's called Pixologic. So it's P I. X O L O G I C Pixelogic, and then they've got the free software there. So if you want to try out sculpting and see if it's something that you think you'd enjoy, um, just go on their website. You can download it for either the Mac or the PC. I mean, I use a Mac, so actually it's quite difficult to get software sometimes for the Mac. Um, but ZBrush and um, Sculptress, please Sculptress. Just, I'll double check that and bring up a uh, little banner on it. Um, they're both for the Mac and PC. So anyway, here I'm now sculpting in his, his paws. I've sort of uh, created the main shape that I was after, and now I'm just adding a few little details. Now, I've said this a few times with the bubblegum monsters, but because I made a bubblegum, I try not to go into too much detail, because at the end of the day, if you're gonna make a creature out of bubblegum, I don't think you're gonna be able to get lots of high detail in it. So I only go for the main details, the stuff that I think you'd be able to kind of sculpt if you had that kind of material that would be bubblegum. So here I'm just creating the pause. And I think I think I was nearly done now and I just decided to start adding the, the traditional dripping effect that I put into all of the uh, creatures that I create. And I always find it a little bit sort of heart-wrenching doing this because I've just spent time creating the model and then you feel like you're kind of destroying it. So I always make sure I save one version without all of the uh, the drips on it, on it before doing this. Um, but anyway, then I go ahead and luckily so far I think it's always come out looking kind of cool. So here I've just made a puddle as well and then I blend the two together. There's a tool in the ZBrush where you can sort of blend different models together and it, it will stitch it all together for you. And so that was that was it. It was um, it was quite a straightforward little creature to make actually. And now you can just see a, a nice sort of high res version of it which will then end up on the banner.
<laughs> so there you go, that's a bubblegummed red panda. Now, I'm gonna start doing a new feature, which is very similar to the bubblegum monsters, but it won't be a competition. And what it will be is every week I will do a bubblegum sketch of, of creating, um, could be anything, a game character, an animal, something from a movie. Um, and I'll leave it up to you guys if you can comment below of stuff you'd like to see. And then what I'll do is I'll just pick one that I like the looks of and we'll make it on a weekly basis. I'm not sure what day we're going to do it yet, but um, it'll probably be something like a Wednesday or something like that. Um, the other thing is I'm thinking of doing it live. Now, this isn't a definite thing yet because we're still having issues with our live broadcasting stuff. It's all a bit delayed and it doesn't work too well. Um, but is that something you'd want to see? Because one thing to take into account with these videos, the actual Bubblegum Monster ones, they're shortened down, the time lapse. So making these takes about half an hour to an hour long. Is that something you'd like to watch? Is that something you'd enjoy seeing uh, as a live thing? Um, so comment above, I'll put a little card there so you can do a vote, so yes or no, basically. Um, it'd be lovely to see your thoughts. Until next time, bye for now.